morning students today we are moving to start a new syndrome it is vagus syndrome so let's move to vagus syndrome so vagus syndrome is a genetic disorder the chromosome number 11 it is missing or deleted that is vagus syndrome we will ex we will move to vagus syndrome the full form what is w what is a what is g and what is r so this is full form of Wagner syndrome. W is Will's tumor, A for anhydridia, G for gen genitourinary anomalies, and R for mental retardation. So now the mental retardation name changes to intellectual disabilities. So this is the full form of Wagner syndrome. Here you have to know about maybe this Will's tumor is not to everyone. It's 50 percentage of individuals have tumor, not everyone. That means everyone is not having the same symptoms, except above four some individuals have some additional symptoms also. Except these four, some individuals have some additional symptoms such as kidney failure, growth retardation, small head size and obesity. Except these four symptoms, except these four, some patients or some people, so some individuals have these additional symptoms are kidney failure, growth retardation, small head size and obesity. Most specific feature of Wagner syndrome is none other than it's our aniridia. So what is aniridia? Aniridia is complete or partial absence of iris. Iris means the colored part of our eyes. So again repeating, aniridia is a complete or partial absence of our iris from the eye. So here you have to understand, it is present at birth only. So usually the first thing arises the patient with Wagner syndrome is aniridia. See, in normal iris or normal eyes, the iris control how much light enters the eye and constrict the pupil and lot of light around to keep the vision sharp. I'm repeating one more time. In normal iris, it control how much light enters to the eyes and constrict the pupil and lot of light around to keep the vision sharp. But what happened in this aniridia iris case? In aniridia iris, here too much light get into the eyes and it leads to blurred vision or photophobia. So two things happening here, too much light is going inside the eyes and it leads to blurred vision and photophobia. So let's move to other eye features except iris case. Other features of uh, eyes in this Wagner syndrome is cataract. Cataract means the colored lens, glaucoma, pressure increase in eye. And at last, nystagmus, it is abnormal movement of eye. Again, I'm repeating other features of eyes in the Wagner syndrome is cataract, glaucoma, and nystagmus. Now we can discuss about Wilms tumor. Wilms tumor is also known as nephroblastoma. So Wilms tumor, the another name is nephroblastoma. This Wilms tumor, so Wilms tumor it is generally a malignant kidney tumor that affect mostly children. So again repeating, Wilms tumor, it's generally a malignant kidney tumor that affect children. Let's move to what are the what are the things are in this Wilms tumor or Wilms tumor is composed of so Wilms tumor composed of three things. The first one is Metanephric blastoma. The first one is metanephric blastoma. Metanephric blastoma is a cell type which is developing inside the kidney. Next thing is stromal cells. Stromal cells are which are the part of connective tissue inside the kidney. And the last one is epithelial cells. Epithelial cells, these are self-organized into primitive glomerular or tubercles. So again repeating, these are the self-organized cells which is into primitive glomeruli and tubules. So these are the three things which is composed to Wilms tumor. So metanephric blastoma, stromal cells and epithelial cells are the factors or the, are the uh, things which are present in the Wilms tumor.
the composition of Wilms tumor. So in children, we can see the kidney size or kidney will the size will increase. So the flank mass we can see in the children. The first thing is in children, the flank mass we can see. And also we can see the hematuria blood in the urine. So except these two, the additional thing we can see is hypertension. So three things we can see in children like flank mass, hematuria and hypertension. This hypertension is resolved via renin secretion. This renin may be it comes from the tumor itself or from the healthy tissue of the kidney. But it is resolving by our renin system or renin secretion. So the important thing is this Wilms tumor is not a specific feature of Vagus syndrome because this tumor is happening in healthy children also. So this tumor seen in other syndromes also, not only in Vagus syndrome, this will come in another some few uh, syndromes also and also this will tumor is happening or coming to healthy children also. So which are the tumors seen in other? So Wilms tumor can seen in beckwith Wiedemann syndrome also. In this condition also, in beckwith Wiedemann syndrome condition also, the Wilms tumors are present. So in Wilms tumor treatment is combination of chemotherapy, radiation and nephrotomy. So the treatment is combination of radiotherapy, chemotherapy and nephrotomy. The next thing is G, the genitourinary anomalies. Genitourinary anomalies in boys, first one is cryptorchidism. Cryptorchidism means undescended testis. And the second one is hypospadias. Hypospadias means urethra exists under the penis. It's not exactly uh, opening in the tip. It is actually coming. See, the exist is under the penis, not in the tip. So that is hypospadias and cryptorchidism is undescended testis. So in girls, the genital anomalies are, in girls, streak ovaries are the genitourinary anomalies streak ovaries it is maybe underdeveloped and non-functional the thing is this streak ovaries will lead to increase the risk of for a tumor called gonadoblastoma again i am repeating this streak ovaries leads increase risk for tumor called gonadoblastoma To know Vagus syndrome is a contagious deletion syndrome. What is mean by contagious deletion syndrome is contagious means next to each other. See the chromosome. We all know that the 11th number chromosome is having this deletion. So which arm is short arm? The name is P. So here the contagious deletion syndrome means the gene 1, 2 and 3. It means each other. They are each other See, 1, 2, 3, they are each other, gene combined and deleted. So, there are two particular gene is important from the deletion region. The one is PAX6 gene and WT1 gene. So, PAX gene deletion leads to aniridia and WT1 gene deletion is, is increased the risk of Wilms tumor and also it is responsible for genitourinary abnormalities. Hope you all understand this point. If sometimes deletion may be extra large or so one more gene will be deleted from the region. It means except from this two, sometimes more gene will delete. Example is BDNF. What is BDNF means brain derived, derived neurotrophic factor. So it's an extra gene deletion. This deletion BDNF factor deletion leads obesity. In this case, we will call this Wagner syndrome as Wagro syndrome. So or obesity or also we will include this in syndrome. Wagner syndrome is technically autosomal dominant. But it is often sporadic. 
What is mean by sporadic? It is mean by causing new mutation rather than inherited. So it's not, technically this syndrome is autosomal dominant, but it is oftenly sporadic. That means by causing new mutation. Moving to diagnosis of Wagner syndrome is fish. What is fish means fluorescent in situ hybridization. The diagnosis diagnosis thing is fish fluorescent in situ hybridization. I will explain you how it will work. Here we go. This is the DNA. This upper part is this is a fluorescent color. This is upper upper part is fluorescent labeled probe made by DNA that complemented to the Wagner syndrome. So this area is fluorescently labeled labeled probe made by DNA that is complemented to the Wagner syndrome. So this is the Wagner region. Normal chromosome, if we are doing a fish test or fluorescent in situ hybridization test, the fluorescent color can see in 11th chromosome. In both chromosome we can see. See in both chromosome we are seeing this fluorescent color. But what happened in Wagner syndrome? Here in 11th chromosome the deletion happened. So only one chromosome will show the fluorescent color. Only one chromosome is showing the fluorescent color. Here the deletion happened. The treatment section we address each problem individually that is first one is photophobia we can give tinted lenses in Wilms tumor we already discussed the combination therapy that chemotherapy radiotherapy so the most important is timely diagnosis for adequate medical surveillance which means we have to check regular renal USGs ultrasound BP monitoring and pelvic ultrasound Mainly the pelvic ultrasound because in female streak ovaries are coming. In this case, we can see uh, the pelvic USG, we can diagnose early. So it will decrease the risk of gona uh, gonadotoblastoma. So it's just easy topic, easy one that you can remember. So we can quick recap this topic. Just a quick recap is. Wacker syndrome is a contagious gene deletion syndrome caused by deletion of several genes in chromosome number 11. So it's including PAXA6 gene, WT1 gene resulted for this is risk of Wilms tumor, aniridia, PAX6 is causing aniridia and genitourinary abnormalities and the patients having some intellectual disabilities. So this is the overview of Wacker syndrome. So let's close this chapter now. So we will move to another syndrome in next chapter. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubt, just comment below.